Okay, this is just going to be a quick and dirty video here about programming Vixen with these 682 controllers. Now you can see that I do have the new power supplies now. I'll be putting a parts list uh, on this video whenever I get done ordering things. So to begin with, I've got my two controllers out here. Earlier I showed you how to set up the addresses for them. This is six, This is a 206 and this is 207. 207 is the one I'm going to be demonstrating. I have in plug 1-1, I've got 200 lights connected here. In plug 1-2, I've got 150. Uh, I've got it connected to the my Ethernet with a D-Link controller. And so let's go over here now to the screen capture and I'll show you what's going on. All right. First thing I'm going to do is open up my controller on my uh, web browser. I've got them listed here on my favorites as 206 and 207. So I'm going to open up 207. You can see that's the address 192.168.0.207. Now down here on my outputs you can see that I have two outputs in use on the uh, one one to one four outputs the two three and four uh, groups on there I have zero and that causes all these boxes here to disappear we don't want any of those active I'm just going to be showing just the two plugs that I've got plugged in right now you can have up to a hundred and seventy pixels or lights connected to one plug so that's why we need two plugs because we can't hook more than 170 now you're gonna see on the side there that I have 200 connected that only hundred and seventy are gonna light up there'll be 30 on that last group that won't light so if you don't already have it set up this way I'm just showing you that I'm using two 170 pixels that'll be starting on universe one channel one you just go over and you click update once you make those changes and remember each row that you change you have to update it as you change it so my controller is ready I'm gonna open up Vixen I'm going to open up Setup Display. On the controllers, I'm going to add a streaming ACN. That's the E1.31. I'm going to add it. I'm going to call this controller 207 because that's the address I've given it, so I know which one it is. And outputs on this controller like I told you you can get a hundred and seventy light bulbs pixels on one plug-in of the controller so I have 200 connected to the one which means I can only light up a hundred and seventy of them the second one has a hundred and fifty so a hundred and seventy plus a hundred and fifty is three hundred and twenty now you also have to remember that each of the pixels has three bulbs inside of it. A red one, a green one, and a blue one. So you have to take that times three because it needs an output for each one of those colors on each light. So 320 times three, 960. I'll put 960. Okay. If I open it up, you can see it has output one down to output 960. Now these uh, dots here are all white at the moment because they only turn green after you've patched them to the actual pixels. 
So over here on the elements, I'll, these are the pixels. I'm going to uh, open it up, click on generic numbered group, add it. And I'm going to call this one peak. Uh, these are just the peaks on my house. And this one, we'll just say this one's the one over the garage. Now you have to remember once again that you cannot do any of this till you actually know how many bulbs it took to co go around that peak. I'm just using a number I just pulled out of the air here just for this demonstration. So you have to wait till you're done putting your lights up before you can actually program them. So the item count is 320 pixels. I'll put 320 in. Okay. Now you can see when that's highlighted that you have 320. If I highlight the 207, it's 960. Because like I said, it takes three for each one of these bulbs. Now I'm going to go down here on the configuring to tell it that it's a pixel light. So I'll click on it, go to color handling, click on the configure button, and you have your choices. Single color, they can be multiple colors, or they can be any color. They are full RGB and mixed to make any color. That's what these lights are. They're WS2811s. So I'm going to click on that. You can see that my color order is red, green, blue. That's what my lights are. You can uh, get different orders, but for mine, they are red, green, blues. I'm going to OK it. You can see that it added the color properties to the bulbs. And now this number has changed to 960. Even though if I still, if I open this, you can see that it's only 320 bulbs. But the properties of them, the patch points, is 960. Because there's three for each bulb. Now I have to configure my controller so that it knows... Uh, where the controller is and what the address of it is. So I'm going to right click and then left click on configure. Now we have 960 outputs that we're going to be using there. When you get done you'll have probably several thousand outputs but for the moment just for the 320 bulbs that we're got on uh, for the demonstration here we have 960. So the first one can take uh, up to 170 bulbs. So that gives you 510 when you take it times 3. So I need another one in order to get to 960. So I'll add, click on the uh, add. And on my second universe here, starting at channel 511, you can see that it comes up with a 510, but what I actually have is 150 bulbs on that second string so I'm gonna change this I'm gonna highlight it by left clicking on it and change it to 450 that's for the outputs for the second 150 bulbs times 3 450 add them together you get 960 now the destination if you've already uh, sent some uh, some things to this controller it will already show up here but I haven't yet so I need to just click on the add it'll come up and want to know what address is this controller so I'll type in my 192.168.0.207 that's the IP address of this controller I'll OK it it comes up as a unicast with that address of 207 and I'll OK. So now we've got everything connected here except for patching the elements. You can see that they're no, not green as yet. So if I tell it to patch the elements, you have to have them both highlighted here, the peak and the 207. If I tell it to patch the elements, it says it patched 960 elements to the controllers. So now they're all green all the way down to 960. So we can OK this. Do not close it. You'll lose everything. You have to OK it. That's how it saves. 
Now I'll open up a new sequence. Eventually it'll open. <laughs> there it is. All right, my peaks over here. If I open that up, you can see that there is 320. That's how many bulbs I'm saying that it took to get around that peak on the garage. I'm going to light them all up at once here just for this demonstration. I'll just right click, then left click on add an effect, and left click on set level. So, at, up here on your controls, there's a pause button. So I'm going to start my uh, cursor moving with the space bar on my keyboard. And then I'm going to click on the pause button once it gets over this set level, and that'll light up my bulbs. So here we go. Now you can see over here that all of them are lit except for 30 of them on this last one because it can only handle up to 170, and that's what we told it there was. It also knows but when we configured it that there was 150 on that last string so that's that I'm going to uh, do one other effect here I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm going to add a chase I'm gonna extend that out here give it a little time to get to each bulb I'm going to tell it to chase in blue. Uh, the colors over here, you can set them up. And there's all sorts of programs out on the internet to give you the correct numbers for different colors. These are just some that I set up here for color handling. So I'm going to left click down on the blue and hold it. Drag it up onto my chase. Let go and the dots all turn blue here. So now it's going to chase in blue when I press the speed, the space bar, and here's where it goes. It's going to run through all 170 bulbs, and that's it. So that's just a quick and dirty overview here of how to uh, do the programming. But once again, I stress you have to put the bulbs up first because you have to know how many are in each location before you can do this. I'll be doing that when I get to it. Um, I'm just going to close things out here. I'll be posting videos, as I said before, every step of the way. So when uh, my next video is going to be me making... Uh, light runs to put on the house and once all the light bulbs are up all the pixels are up then we're going to uh, come back and do the actual programming so till the next video bye